Coach Carrizales, runner-up finish this year, champs last year. You flip-flopped with Dayton Christian. And actually, how they beat you, how you beat them last year is how they beat you this year with the backside guys. Sure. You had sure. more finalists and more we had, champs. We had five finalists. Uh, we both had three champs. Both had three champs? Both had three champs. So at the end of the day, was the goal for the team to win another state title? Absolutely. But I told the boys coming in this year that you know, after the disappointment of not having a single state champ last year, that the goal was to focus on getting some guys at the top of the podium. You know, we won the state the, the state dual team title again, and that was a great accomplishment as a team. But to get those three individual titles, Dustin Martini got into the into the finals. Uh, great weekend for him, as well as Jesse Beverly getting into the finals. So you, you can't call that a bad end of your season. How much fun do you think your guys had? You know, you guys had more finalists, not quite the same backside. But you won a title, you know, you won, it's kind of, it was kind of anticlimactic. You had no champs last year, but a team title. How much different does this feel? You got three champs going home, but with a runner-up finish. What's it like for you? It's, it's, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet as a coach because, again, you, know, you, you go back to having that goal as a team. But, hey, I mean, that's, that, is, that was the goal, and I'm, I'm not backing down from it. That, you know, we get some individual guys to, to win some state titles. And, um, you know, that, that was the, the goal. So, hey, I, I mean, I can't walk away from the same disappointed. Bookend champs. You got, you got 106 and you got heavyweight. When's the last time Delta did that? I think you guys did it in the, when you were in high school, right? You know what? I don't... You might have done it. I don't... It's a good question, right? That is a good question. I have because I think you guys had. Well, you know what? You go back to uh, when uh, Drew's dad, Michael Madden, won it. He won it at 103, and and uh, Robbie Santomer at 189. So not quite, quite there, but. Uh, and then they did it like well, you won it like 112, and then I, I think Dean well, won it heavyweight. I was 130, and Big Dean was heavyweight. So so uh, yeah. By the time I was a senior, I was a little bit bigger than 103. Started out at three, though. We started out at three, yeah. And obviously, Dino, four years of being in the state finals uh, at heavyweight. The Madden family. Think about what they've done for your program, you know. Mike Matt, your first state champ, right? And, uh, and now... It's school history, yeah. Yeah, and then Drew wins this year, you know, and then you got 7,000 more Nick Mattens coming through, actually four, three? Three total? Three more. Three more. Looking at that and what the Madden family's done, what's, the, what's that been like in their contributions to Delta? Yeah, you know, the Madden family is a reflection on our program as a whole. I mean, we have a lot of family. Delta is just a, a small community where... We take a lot of pride in our wrestling, and the Mann family obviously, you know, is cycling through right now as, as a, a family who runs our club, who has four boys who are all just hammers, and it's just one of those things where, uh, again, it just reflects, there's a lot of families like that, you know, the Satovid family, Carzales family has had a lot of people go through, uh, the Madden family, and, and there's going to be more that continue just to contribute. Guys that I went to high school with, guys that, um, you know, I've, I've known my entire life. It's just, you know, they start having kids and now the kids are coming through and it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you get to coach with your best friends and your family. I, I, there's no place better in my mind to coach high school wrestling than Delta, Ohio. All right, you got awards coming up. You got anything else for me? Just that, uh, hey, um, I couldn't be more proud of my, my boys, just like last year. Yeah, they're the best group of kids in Ohio. Do you ever age? <laughs> you look like the same dude that was in high school, man. You know what? These, uh, the, the gray hairs are starting to come, man. I, I think I've, I've got a name for every one of my kids on the side of my head. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. I'll, I'll take them. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Uh, Runner-up finish. Go get some awards out.